Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you've joined me for today's video. This has been one that I have been excited to make for a while. We are getting into the fall spirit and I have a list of things that I would love to do to just get into the mood for fall. I have a new coffee recipe that I've been wanting to try. I saw it on Pinterest and I would love to create that maybe this afternoon for an afternoon coffee. There is a craft that I want to do with Danny that I think would be so sweet to make a little keepsake to have and enjoy over the years to bring out with all of our fall decor. I'm also going to be decorating for fall. This is probably what I am most excited for. I did just grab our totes out of the garage, so I'm going to go through all of that here very soon. And then I also have a number of apples that I would love to use up because we're going out of town this weekend. So I'm trying to use up all of our food. And so I would love to make some sort of fall apple baked, maybe something fun that we can have tonight. Last week I had some time and so I did create a fall mood board. I love doing this um, for most of the seasons, but especially for fall. And then we also do like a family bucket list of things that we want to enjoy as a family. Fall it has always been so nostalgic to me, like heading into the holiday season, but especially since becoming a mom, it's just brought back so many memories of when I was young. And so I also included some photos of like apple picking. I would love to do a fall picnic in the park, fall walks through the leaves, enjoy our coffee outside in the crisp air. And something else that I would love to do to get inspired is actually just go browse some shops. I'm not going to be buying any new fall decor this year. There's just nothing that we need, but I would love to go take a look and just get inspired. And maybe sometime if we go to the thrift store and I see something or maybe have an idea, I can recreate it here at home with what I already have or perhaps thrift it. But I thought that would be a fun way to get inspired. Danny loves to sit in the shopping cart and walk around stores with me too. So I figured that would be a fun thing for us to do together. If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter? So something that I am attempting this fall is making my own fall scented cleaner. I have loved having a fall scented all purpose cleaner here in the kitchen for so long, but this year I thought I would challenge myself and make my own. So this has been fermenting, melding for a couple weeks. It's just some orange peels. I've got cinnamon sticks, some cloves, and some herbs from our garden. And then I just filled it with a bit of vinegar and water so <laughs> I'm a little nervous to see how it smells oh wow that actually smells amazing wow the combination of like cinnamon and orange it smells so sweet 
Wow, that seriously smells so good and you can't even smell the vinegar. Okay, I think this might actually work. I have this um, amber glass bottle that I've had for so, so long. I used to just use like vinegar water, um, but it's just been sitting empty. So I'm gonna use this. It's very autumnal feeling. There we go. It smells really good. I'm excited to give it a whirl. I would love to make an afternoon coffee. It's about 1.30 and I think we will get out the fall decor. But first I'm going to sort of clean a little bit as I go, as I decorate. So before I make my coffee, I'm just gonna give our coffee bar a good wipe, kind of reset. And then as I'm putting out the decor, I'll sort of use this to wipe surfaces, dust a little bit, just some light cleaning to just freshen up our space. sure i found it on pinterest the recipe it's a starbucks copy a starbucks copycat but i have not had that drink from starbucks but this is really good mm -hmm. no sorry you can't have any sorry you just basically make the syrup like i used apple cider instead of apple juice um but it's quite delicious and i love that i have my fall glass back out now should we decorate for fall let's do it okay so all of our fall decor is in this one tote other than a couple of like pumpkin planters that I have. Let's see. Should we get it out and see? I saw you down the motorway. There was something about you that day. I can still hear the shimmering sound. The hill is near, let's get right up. Walk up to a very top. We couldn't tell the sky from the ground I know my life Will never be the same after that day You wrap me around your fingers and you stay So I've been feeling like our little coffee bar area here has been sort of missing something and I've just been wanting to change it up a little bit. So I just took off the sign and added these hooks that I'm planning to hang our mugs on. I feel like the mugs have been what's like not working. So I figured we can just hang our mugs. I think this could be really cute. Maybe? Does that look okay? Hmm, let me get more mugs. Okay, I feel like that is way too cluttered because they're like clinking into each other. Oh boy, I really should have tried that out first before <laughs> doing this. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave them for now. Um, I'm gonna see what Silas thinks about it. And then I think I'm just going to clean up this down here. Yesterday it turned out to be a little bit of a gong show in the afternoon. <laughs> the hooks that I set up yesterday for our mugs fell 
like literally 10 minutes after I put them up and broke two of our mugs, one of them being my favorite fall mug. <laughs> I really should have known that that would happen because it was so heavy and I only used command strips. I really need to screw that hook thing in. But that incident kind of just set off a ripple effect. I crashed at like three. I was so exhausted. We haven't had groceries so I was so hungry because we were just kind of like out of all of our food resources and then on top of that danny skipped his afternoon nap which was fine it was actually nice that we got to spend extra time together but it just sort of threw off our whole schedule and rhythm yeah. so i was like you know what i'm not gonna film anymore we're just gonna survive the day i actually ended up falling asleep at like six while silas was giving danny his bath and then after that i was like this day it just needs to be over <laughs> so silas actually got us ice cream we watched a movie and then but the thing is i feel like sometimes you just need that you need just like an evening of just like total vegging <laughs> or just relaxing um because i didn't close the kitchen i didn't clean up but the thing was i woke up this morning so refreshed and like ready to just get it <laughs> hey buddy so I woke up early, I was super motivated. I did like a whole house reset and we're gonna go to the grocery store right now because we don't have any food. <laughs> and the reason being is because we're going out of town this weekend. So I intentionally did not buy a lot of groceries but now we have pretty much nothing to eat. So I think for dinner tonight, I'm gonna do a chicken Tuscany like pasta dish that I made so much when we were first married because it's easy, it's quick, it's cheap, and was just easy when <laughs> I was just learning how to cook. We haven't had it in probably over a year. So I think that would be fun to have to use up some chicken and some homemade broth that I made. Yeah, does that sound good? Should we go to the store? It's cool. anything too exciting at the grocery store other than pumpkin which was on sale so I just grabbed some because I know I'll continue using this a lot throughout the fall. I got a couple things for Danny. I got him applesauce and then I also got these little oat bars so like spinach and cherry. I thought these would be good because we're going on a plane this weekend so these were nice last time we flew to um, just grab and have like in her diaper bag. Apple cider I could not resist. I love apple cider especially in September because I feel like it's the perfect apple things in general to me are like September and then October is more pumpkin I don't know if that just sounds crazy because to me apple is like it's fall but it's still kind of summer back to school I don't know and then October it's like the leaves are changing there's a lot more fall colors and so that's when I get more into the pumpkin stuff is that just like way overthinking it? Probably. Anyways, I also got a couple things for dinner. I got pasta, cream cheese, and then spinach. And I did get a couple apples because I know I said I have apples that I want to use in a dessert. I thought it would be fun to make an apple crisp, but we really love using three different variations of apples. I can never remember which ones I've used in the past, but I have gala apples. And so I just got a Macintosh and then a Granny Smith for some more tartness. Hopefully that's a good combo. I'm just gonna make like a very small apple crisp because we don't need much. It's just kind of for a fun fall treat for Silas and I. So I'm gonna make kind of like a, a little two person apple crisp. Got bananas. And then just a couple things for lunch. I grabbed some cheese, guacamole, some salami and croissants because we're actually going to probably in, I don't know, an hour or so once Danny's up from his nap, we're actually going to head to the park for a little picnic. So I thought I would just do kind of easy charcuterie. So I got a couple things for that. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember
Well, it's later in the day and I'm just cooking what is literally, it's gotta be the easiest dinner. Oh man, I am all for like one pot meals, especially on a busy day. And this one is too good. It's got all the good stuff. It's got cream cheese, Parmesan, sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, pasta. Oh man, the ultimate comfort food. If you want the recipe, leave a comment down below and I will share it with you. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing, <laughs> but it is so delicious. day and we are going to attempt a little craft DIY. Um, I saw this idea on Pinterest to make a salt dough pumpkin and then you put your baby or your child's handprint in it and so we're gonna try it. I did a little DIY with Danny last Christmas. I did an ornament so I thought it'd be fun to have one for fall that we just bring out every year and it looks pretty easy. So essentially I made the dough already. It was super easy, just flour, salt, and water. And then I'm just gonna roll it out and put his handprint in it and then bake it so that it's dry. And I think I might have to let it sit for quite a while before I paint it. I'm trying to decide what color to paint. If I do like a dark fall orange or if I do like a white, like a cream. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna roll this out and grab his handprint and we'll see how this turns out. Well, I thought it would be fun to add some fall elements to our little play area, but nothing like seems to be working. So I added this little sign here on our toy shelf. This I had on our bookshelf. I just feel like it's just too big. I do like this little floral arrangement. I think that adds some nice texture. And then I just added a couple little things here on our TV stand. This pumpkin I do really like. I think it's super cute. But I do feel like on the whole, the fall decor, I'm just not really feeling it too much this year. I don't know if it's just because, well, I feel like I don't know where to put things. Um, I have items that I've used in the past. Also having a toddler, it's tricky because I don't want things to just get destroyed or just grabbed all the time and have to put back. So it's nice to have a few cozy fall touches. But on the whole, I feel like I haven't decorated that much, but that's okay. We're keeping things simple and practical and realistic. <laughs> I did add this little fall blanket to our ottoman here. In the past, I've put it upstairs, so I might actually do that again. I'm not sure if I like it here, but it does add a nice touch of orange. And speaking of simple, I feel like that is a theme this fall, especially. I just have this desire to just keep things simple to focus on what truly matters. I would much rather spend time with my family, with my son, watching him experience fall for one of the first times in his life than be so caught up in figuring out how to decorate perfectly or making sure that everything is perfect for the season. I don't know, it just seems like it's just not the season of life to be concerned about those things. Like I said, I have a toddler now. It is more difficult to decorate, but that's okay. I want it to be simple. I want this season to just be filled with memories, making memories for him. I think that's something that is really special 
special. And this idea of simplifying is something that I talk about here on my channel, especially since becoming a mom. I just want to simplify and enjoy these precious years and not be so overwhelmed by stuff. I wanna be a good steward of our time, our resources. I really do believe that my home is my ministry to minister to my family to my husband, to my children, and to those who enter our home. And so that's what I really want to focus on. So throughout this video, you saw me attempt to decorate a little bit. <laughs> it's certainly nothing that you would see on Pinterest. It's nothing crazy. And truthfully, I feel like I want to just like donate half of our fall decor because I just didn't even use it. I wanna take things slow. I want to just enjoy, to be intentional with the time that I have with my son, here at home. And so if that means just taking extra time to play with him rather than, I don't know, buying new fall decor, then I think that's the way to go. Anyways, all that to say, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that it was somehow inspiring for you, even if it has just inspired you to slow down a little bit and just enjoy the season for what it is. I'm thankful to have a space here on the internet where I get to do that and share encouragement with you guys. Thank you so much for your support. It truly means so much. Every time you like a video of mine, every time you comment or share, it truly, it truly helps out my channel so much and it just means the world to me. So thanks again for being here and I will see you in my next video.